<clears throat> What's up, Godzilla fans? Samson West here, and um, sorry for the late entry. I was caught doing something else. Anyway, today's a very exciting day for me because I got a box. Ugh. That's right, I got a box. It's pretty big, too, isn't it? Yeah. Hang on, let me get my knife. All right. Got my knife. So let's cut this sucker open. Gonna see what's in the box. Ah. We'll see what's in the box. If I can cut into it. Ah. It's a pretty big box. Deserves a pretty big knife to cut it open. All right. Ah. Ooh, cut into my table. Oops. Okay. There we go. Peanuts. Alright, let's see what we got inside this big old sucker. Hmm. Looks like some exciting stuff. Ooh. This doesn't belong to me, but let's put that over there. <gasps> these don't belong to me either. Let's put these over here. <gasps> here we go. This does belong to me. Alright. Peanuts. Alright. Let's get the box out of the way. Make sure I don't have any peanut crap on me. Okay. I wonder what this could be. Actually see this but um, this here that I have in my arms is the X plus Rick boy exclusive Godzilla 1964 yes I had a lot of help from my okay let's get this out of the way I had a lot of help from my very good friend Richard he bought this for me and um, I'm gonna pay him back soon because I am broke but I have money because I've been working lately. I have money going into the bank as we speak. So, anyway, he bought this for me off of Yahoo Auctions Japan, and I actually got it for a pretty decent price. I got it for $307 shipped. Now, that is a very good price compared to what you see on eBay and whatnot. When you buy stuff off of eBay, you'll see it in like the $400 to $480 range. So, I saved a pretty little penny, because the $400 and $480, that doesn't include shipping. Alright, let's go ahead and, oh, wait, before I talk about that, these two figures that I have right here, these do not belong to me. These are Richard's. Uh, the company that he bought this for me from, they accidentally shipped his stuff to me, too. And what we have right here is that neat little exclusive set where it's the Black Mechagodzilla, and the two jet jaguars, the red one and the white one with the uh, nurse cross on its chest. And looking at them, I can see that they're both tagged. They look like they're in pretty excellent condition. I'm not going to open them because they don't belong to me. They're going to stay in their bubble wrap. So, yeah, they look pretty good. Mechagodzilla has his tag attached to his tag. Anyway, all right. Now, let's open this thing and let's look at the magnificence of it all. probably see it a little bit better, maybe not, but anyway, here's the Godzilla and here are the Mothra larvae. This is what makes it the Rick Boy exclusive set, is the Mothra larvae. There's a second one back behind that one you can see there, and it's in a curved bodied state. But anyway, let's uh, zoom back out and go ahead and get this guy unwrapped. Oh, let's go ahead and 
and unwrap this sucker. Twisty ties. show you how this guy works. See, he can't stand very well on his own because his tail is lifted a little bit off of the ground as you can see here and his back foot is not uh, actually touching the floor. It's angled so that he falls down like that. But what this stand does is it has grooves where his feet can fit perfectly into and then his tail can balance on this little rock right there and just I mean, what makes it so much more impressive are these two little mothra larvae that came with it. They look beautiful. They actually look like a similar set that I already have. They look like the Marmot Para Baby set that I have, where one is straight bodied and one is curved bodied. Yeah. But anyway, looking at the Godzilla, he's beautiful. He's magnificent. I mean, I'm astonished at how awesome he looks. I just can't believe that he's... I mean, David, my good friend on Facebook, you aren't kidding. This guy looks magnificent. I, I can see why he's in your top five list as one of the most beautiful X-plus sculpts around. But anyway, I have to give major props to Richard for getting this thing for me because he he took a, like, a, I don't know. I don't know how to explain the big thanks that I give towards you, but Richard, you're the bomb. You got me this figure. I couldn't have done it without you. Now that I have it, I can gloat and be all braggy about it because I do have it now. Na 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 na. All right. And yeah, as for these things, I will get these to you as soon as possible, Richard. I will definitely do that because I gotta wait till I get my money in the bank and then I can go to the post office and ship these things straight to you. So, uh, all right. That was my little unboxing video. Super excited about this guy. I've been hunting for him for a long time. Now that I have him, I'm ecstatic as can be. So I'm going to go look at him some more and put him on my shelf and probably never touch him again. No, that's impossible. There's no way I'm never going to touch this thing again. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed my strange little unboxing video. So anyway, thanks for watching and sayonara.